Hey guys, welcome to Dex Water Adventures today. Well, I know it's been some time. I posted a couple videos the other day, just kind of for the fun of it, down in Destin. Uh, I plan on making more videos down there, but uh, kind of like, you know, going down there on vacation. We did take the jet skis, um, had a great time. Uh, didn't ride them quite as much as I thought we would, but we still had a great time on them. But I've had a couple a couple people ask me, you know, um, here lately, you know, hey, Dak, I'm trying to figure out what kind of motor I should put on my um, on my Taki Cat. And, man, I know I've had this discussion before, and I've talked about this time and time again. But I, I'll go ahead and throw it out there. Um, just from my experience, again, this is, this is my opinion and my experience, I've uh, I've had the 420 LX Taki Cat now for over a year, and um, and my experience with it has been uh, with a six horsepower motor, it'll get me where I'm going, but not very fast. I won't get up on a plane, and if you put four people in it, it just kind of it just kind of plugs along, but it gets you there. And the thing that I liked about it the most was it was portable. Um, very easy to maneuver the boat down to the uh, bank right behind my house. On the wheel kit, um, worked very well. Anything really over that, um, I've had the 15, which I've got on it now, which is a brand new Suzuki 15, um, 2023 20, model. Uh, fuel injected, really nice, quiet really great great running motor and sometimes I will attempt to launch it from the beach um, with the motor on it today I did not uh, I just did a separate carry down I, I carried the Taki Cat down with you know behind my mule which was pretty easy and then I carried the motor down I put the motor on down by the beach and really I don't know I, I mean I'm getting older and it just seems easier to wheel this on the wheel kit, um, you know, with uh, a lighter motor. Now I've had the 15 on here and I've had a 25 on here, which um, shortly afterwards, some corrections were made and Taki Cat only approved 20, up to 20 horsepower on these boats. I will tell you, I, I'm out here on the lake now. It's a little rough on the other side. I came over here on the calm side. Um, getting it wide open with this 15 with just me on it. And, and I got some gear, I got a, coo a small cooler. I've got a gas can. I've got a small cooler with some of my gear. Um, I got a little umbrella that I keep up here on the front so that if I want to get out of the sun for a few minutes, you know, the fishing rod holders, they're great for umbrellas. Let me tell you, you can anchor up, uh, set an umbrella up there, float in the water, sit under your umbrella, just relax. Um, best thing ever. But back to the motors. Essentially, um, if I was to go anything smaller than the 420, uh, 340, or any of the other smaller models, I would definitely consider uh, smaller motors. Um, uh, I've tried this one on my new smaller Taki Cat, and to be honest with you, it was just really squirrely. Um, I really had to shift a lot of weight up front, um, and even still then, I felt like the 15 was Kind of excessive for that uh, smaller boat. But for the 420, I'll be honest with you, this 15 is a pretty good compromise in weight. I can carry the motor by myself. It's not too heavy. And um, and I can uh, I can really get up on plane. I, I can do really good with it. Uh, I've been pretty happy with it. I'm gonna make a quick run, kind of show you. I'll show you the back side. I'm trying to get it, trying to stay over here in the calm area white capping out a little bit today so uh, I'm gonna make a couple runs in the calm area and kind of just show you overall how, how well it performs I've noticed going into the wind on a very very windy day I do shift all the weight gas cans coolers and everything up front to keep that front end down because these Taki cats they are light they are amazing vessels so I can tell you the things I've done with them the places I've gone with them um, you know just just amazing just amazing i love them i love the portability you know i've got big boats i got jet skis i got everything else but i tell you what to be honest with you i do love this little boat probably better than any of them because it gives me the ability just to get out here 
carry it out, take it down myself. Don't have to wait at a dock or anything like that, and just and, and just you know mess with all that, the lines and stuff, and all the people. And plus, you know what? It's a great little boat to pull up to others that might be anchored out, just you know floating in the water, having a cold one. Anyway, so we're gonna make a quick run. I know a couple of you guys have been asking me how this 15 um, handled on this boat. How do you think a 9.9 would do? I I'm not gonna do a speed test. I'm just gonna show you what it what it does. One thing I will tell you that I've noticed with the Suzuki is I do get a little splash back, but it's an open transom, so it really doesn't bother me very much, and it doesn't get me wet because you can see how far how far up I do sit on the tube. All right, so let's make a quick run. So that's about a quarter. Go ahead and flop down. Sit down because that front end wants to come up. You can see the splash that I get. Still got to figure that out. But it doesn't get me wet. People have asked me about that splashback. With my six horsepower uh, to a Hotsu, I did not get a lot of splashback. What I have noticed with this 15 is I do get a lot of splashback, and I know there's some things I can do to adjust it. I did have a um, I did have a planer on there. Um, I guess that's what you call it. That keeps the bow from bouncing up and down. But to be honest with you, I had it on my 25 and I had it on my uh, this 15, and I just took it off because. To be honest with you, I didn't notice the boat bouncing at all, uh, or cavitating, or doing anything weird like that. So, um, anyway, do another quick run. I got about quarter throttle there, and I think I'm already up on plane. Got about half throttle, and you can see that's, I know it's windy, folks, but you can see, I'm up on plane, it's cruising really good. get it all the way open. So, no, I didn't even open it all the way. It's coming into some rough water, so I'm going to turn around. Anyway, so guys, so, uh, you know, if you're looking for a motor, I'm not sure why the Suzuki kicks back like that. I'm pretty sure. There's a couple settings I can adjust back there. I think right now I've got it on the second dot. Um, I don't know, there's three or four dots back there. Um, but I mean, you can see it does perform really well. Um, the Suzuki does, like I said, it does have that splash back. I'm really not sure what it is and why it does that. If somebody is smarter than me, wants to put in the comments, I'd love to know. Um, I am going to, I, I, I know I told a lot of you that you know, I don't want to be a boat builder channel. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to get out on the lake, have fun, see friends, um, go on some adventures, try some different spots, different lakes that we'll be doing all over in Texas. Going to head down to the coast again uh, next month, see my friends at uh, Chris Does What. So y'all go check him out on YouTube. Um, he's got a sailing channel down there. Uh, I'll be going down there in August. We'll probably do some dinghy riding, some floating, some hopefully some sailing and uh getting out on the water and having a good time uh and then i'm hoping to go spend some time with my with my son they just moved down to new smyrna and so hoping to get some time with them maybe go down on the water to beach together have some time together anyway so i hope this helps guys again pick the motor you want for what you want to do uh whether it's portability whether it's if you want speed go with that 20 horsepower motor that 20 horsepower motor will scoot this thing right right across the water really well but you don't need it. A 9.9, 9.8, or, uh, you know, somewhere around that in a Mercury or a Suzuki or Tahatsu or whatever, up between that and a 15, it'll do you just fine. Don't, don't worry so much. Now, if you're going to be weighting the thing down and you're going to be building the trailer for it, go ahead and slap that 20 horsepower on there because then you ain't worried about portability. 
you're just worried about uh, getting across the lake and, and having having some fun or getting to wherever you want to get. Do you feel you're going to rig your boat out pretty heavy? Mine's pretty light. It's an island hopper. Um, you know, they make great, uh, you know, great boats for sailboats, you know, make it easy just to blow up and, and take down and mount that motor on the back of the boat. You know, they're pretty, pretty portable boats. But I tell you what they will do is they'll take you on an adventure of a lifetime and that's really what we all want to do. We all want to get out and experience adventure and nature and, you know, look at all the you know, birds and the animals and the fish and, you know, thankfully we don't have alligators down up here in Texas, but, uh, saw, uh, saw quite a few alligators down in Louisiana a couple of days ago. We did a little swamp buggy tour and wow, amazing. Saw a big 14 foot, uh, floating, um, eating marshmallows. Anyway, pretty awesome. So I hope this video helps on the motor situation. Guys, email me, shoot me a, a you know, a reach out to me. Uh, if you have any questions or you, you want to talk to me, let me know. I'll give you a call and, and, and give you my, you know, perspective of, you know, the different motors for the different talkie cats and stuff and what, what, I've, what I've experienced, what works best and, and, and what doesn't work best. Um, and just comes down to how you're going to use it and which way you want to use it. Anyway, all right, guys. So, hey, appreciate you watching Dex Water Adventures. We got a fun-filled pack summer this summer. I'm going to be coming back at you with some more content. Uh, we're going to go over and uh, hopefully we're going to be doing Texoma this summer. We're going to do uh, some different cruises riding around up there. We'll probably take the big boat and the jet skis up there, get a cabin on the water. And we're going to do some others. I've heard of some creeks up on Lake Granberry uh, or Lake Grapevine, excuse me, that I, I find kind of interesting. And, you know, if we really get gutsy, we just might do the Trinity this year. Not the cleanest of rivers, but you know, hey, I'm I'm hearing there's stuff down there, and like I said, I don't want to become a boat builder, but I am thinking about building me a little aluminum boat that I made. Try this 15 horsepower on, see how it works. Anyway, more stuff to come. Stay tuned. I appreciate all of you that are subscribed, that have been supporting my channel. I know I'm an old fat guy just showing you contents on different kind of boats and different kind of things, but hey, it's what I love to do, and if it's what you love to do. You go do the same. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching Dex Water Adventures. Get out there. Go find an adventure. Go meet your friends on the water. Be safe. Wear life jackets. Have your whistle ready. Have your ha have everything ready in case you get into a bad situation. That way you can play it safe on the water. Again, hey, love all y'all, and thanks a lot.